Hello, happy Saturday. Long time no see, you guys. I'm going to be on here for just a few minutes. <clears throat> because I've been reading some things. And I'd like to share them. So, happy Saturday, happy Sabbath, happy weekend, all that good stuff for all of you guys. Uh, welcome to the live. We going to be on here real quick. Forgive me, I don't have any music on. You know how IG likes to cut me off if I have on music. So, we will, uh, somebody said, what's that noise? You hear a noise? There's no noise on my side. Do you guys, does everybody hear a noise? Somebody said they hear a noise. Noise, noise, noise. Are you guys good? It must be that one person. Go go out and come back in. Maybe that'll help. So anyways, uh, yes. So real quick, we're going to be on here real, 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 real quick, okay? Uh, I have been eating my popcorn, sitting back, watching the shenanigans and the shit that is going on. Um, this is incredible. Um... So you do hear a noise. That's okay. I'm recording this on my other phone as well because I see that that's what they do with the lives. It's always some bullshit. Either they'll make it real blur blurry or it'll always be something. But uh, I am recording it on my other phone. So then I'll just upload this video uh, to my other phone. See how that works? So anyways, so uh, I've been, you know, I've, I've been sitting around just sitting back watching this shit go on. It's the funniest shit in the world. It's actually not funny at all. It's, it's, it's some scary shit. But it's, it's funny um, that everything is so obvious. It's so freaking obvious how everything has happened, right? So, um, the, the, you know, uh, 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 what's the guy's name? Uh, Biden is president now. And uh, somebody said the ticket is very relaxing. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> so Biden is president now. And... His first orders have had absolutely nothing to do with anything that black people, Black Lives Matter, uh, anybody has asked him to do. They, he did not say, he did not defund the police. He didn't even reform the police. Okay? He has not put any orders to help black people. He has not put any orders to help black people's employment. He has not put any orders to help black people, black entrepreneurs. Nothing. Zero. Absolutely nothing. Okay? Absolutely nothing. So, what he did do was uh, gave 11 million, over 11 million uh, immigrants uh, legal rights to uh, be a part of the country, so forth and so on, get jobs, so forth and so on. So, Dr. Claude Anderson, this is a really, Dr. Claude Anderson is just the bomb anyways. This book is entitled Black Labor, White Wealth, and he talks about immigration and how it is really a bunch of bullshit as it pertains to um uh as it pertains to uh kind of making it a conglomerate of people of color that kind of thing so that's basically what they did they just made it you know one big morphous of shit and saying oh well everybody needs something which is what uh uh Kamala Harris said, she said she's not going to do anything specific for black people. So, in this uh, book, he talks about how it places blacks into a, a um, aggregation of dissimilar groups and equating their cir circumstances with other minorities in little more than political sleight of hand. It's an illusion of equality in a so-called colorblind American society. This book, I mean, this is in chapter five. It is an amazing, amazing book, the way he breaks it all down. And I would really strongly suggest uh, those of you who follow me, uh, who are very, very pro-black, you should read this book. You really should. Because it'll help you to understand what the hell you're even fighting for and why what most of what you're fighting for doesn't even make sense. So anyway, so the guy that you wanted uh, has become the president of the United States. And his first order was to uh, give 11 million people your jobs. Okay? Uh, the other thing is uh, that he has... Um, now allow transgender girls, transgender women, so men who are transgender, born men, 
biologically born men to now, uh, when they say that they are women, to now be in the uh, uh, women's sports. It's a bill that he signed. This is not a suggestion. This is a legal right, a bill, a policy that your children, your, <laughs> so if you have a boy and a girl, right? If you have children, you have a boy and you have a girl. And your your the boy, whether he's whether he's older in chronological age or not, if the boy is hitting on the girl, right? If the brother is hitting on the sister, you immediately would say, Yo, stop hitting your sister. Why? Because the boy is automatically pretty much going to be stronger than the sister. He shouldn't be hitting on his sister, so forth and so on. So now, you know what? This this brings to, to my memory. I remember many, many years ago, and I think I posted it on Facebook many, many years ago. There was a t-shirt. It was a picture of two transgender females. So it was guys that were now girls. And they said, uh, that they, it was a picture of two, two of them standing side by side. And one of them had on a t-shirt and it was, and it said on the t-shirt, trans are the new women. This was many years ago. I should find that picture because I still have it somewhere. Trans are the new women. I was super angry when I saw that shit. And I said to myself, wow, y'all are trying to replace women? That's some cold ass shit, boy. That's some cold ass shit. You replacing women now? So that's the way this society is going and is headed when you decide that men can play in women's sports and it's supposed to be equal. The, the, the shit that's being pulled over y'all eyes right now and, and, and what is most important to you is what Michelle Obama had on and her hair and her, and her outfit. I'm just, I'm just like, wow, wow. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Oh, and on a side note, and I'm going to get off this thing here. Well, oh no, I have two more notes. Uh, uh, um, th th no, no police reform. No, no, nothing about what's been going on in Oregon, Seattle. They're still, they're still burning up shit. There was a protest against Biden. Of course, the news didn't cover it. All of this stuff, Okay. In the city of Chicago, there have been over 120 carjackings since January 1st. In Chicago, there have been over 120 armed carjackings. So, they haven't talked about police reform. They haven't talked about getting together with this, figuring out what you're going to do about crime. The murder rate has gone up since you keep talking about defund the police. Since you keep talking about defund the police. Murder has gone up 150%. 150%. You got people at the liquor store, some, some idiots over there in Harlem was trying to bite some lady's eye out of her socket and all this other kind of crazy shit because you're talking about defund the police. The people that need the police the most in their communities were the main ones hollering about defund the police. I told you not to say that. And he tricked your punk ass because when he at the inauguration, he had all the police. He tricked you. You literally got played. Literally. And by the way, uh, uh, 
uh, by the way, yes, uh, somebody said my, my available bot, uh, podcast booking. Yes, just email me, Megan at MeganMcGlover.com. Megan at MeganMcGlover.com. Email me at Megan at MeganMcGlover.com. If you DM me, yeah, it's, I probably won't get to it in I don't know how long, okay? I tried to get to all of them, but I don't always get a whole, get to everything, okay? So, Megan at MeganMcGlover.com. The name of the book is Black Labor, White Wealth. He has a lot of books. Um... Uh, Paranomics is another one. This book is by Dr. Claude Anderson. Dr. Claude Anderson. He's 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 a great legend in the in our community. Um, the other thing I want to say here, in closing, you know, you people have been worrying about COVID and coronavirus and it's killing people and this and the other. And I kept trying to tell you what was really going on, but that's okay. I know you were afraid. Um, they, there's an area in Ethiopia right now that they say within a month, over a million people will die of starvation and famine because all the banks are closed. The farmland has been evacuated. They don't have any electricity. So if you have grain, you don't have a meal. If you have a meal, you don't have electricity to run the meal. All this shit was planned. And I kept trying to tell y'all, this, this was an economic power move. Now all that land in Ethiopia that people are going to die, because they're going to die, they're dying of famine. They're literally dying of famine, literally. And the government will not allow reporters in the area. They have no electricity, so that means whatever phones, you know, that they were reporting on phones, it, you can't report on phones. There's no internet. So they're just purposely allowing these people to just die off. And then their land, which is very, very rich land, will miraculously be up for sale for a little to nothing. And you think all of this is a coincidence. I can guarantee you that famine and keeping shit closed down and 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 all this and all this dependence and all this other shit is gonna kill way more people than COVID. They say that there are people who have been working there in this particular area of Ethiopia have not gotten paid any money since October. So can you go for three, four, five, six months without getting paid? Do you have enough food, water, clothing, money? Do you have enough money? Y'all don't listen. But you voted this person in, and I hope you're happy. I hope you're wearing your chucks and you're jumping around and, and screaming and all this other stuff because you basically married your pimp, which is the stupidest thing you could ever do. But that's okay. That's what you wanted. Pimp got good dick. Good for you. You married your pimp. You had his child. Now he's going on to take care of his business. So I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you guys have a good weekend. Of course, tomorrow we do meditation uh, at uh, 9.45 Eastern Standard Time. And uh, uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do our meditation and get ourselves, you know, centered and all that good stuff and everything. Um, I, 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 I'm not really too much fooling around too much more with this Instagram uh, if you have not downloaded my app, I suggest you do it. My app is called McGloverable, or you can just put Megan McGlover. Uh, because I just put up a video a couple of hours ago of of uh, uh, South Park. And they sent me an email and said they have to take it down because uh, I don't own the rights of it or whatever. I'm like, it's a repost. What are you talking about? So the person's page that I got it from, they didn't put, you know, any kind of clause or anything like that. So, you know, I just said, okay, well, they really just don't want to hear anything I have to say. And that's okay. That, that's okay. Because I want to hear what I have to say. So, I don't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> but anyways. Anyways, I hope you guys are going to have an amazing day. Uh, I got to make some phone calls today and take care of some stuff. Um, and get myself 
uh, ready for my second workout this afternoon or this evening. I worked out this morning. I'll be working out again. Uh, so yeah, this is this is an interesting situation. I I am really interested to see when people are going to wake up or if they're just so happy that Trump is out of office and that's all they care about. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, maybe they'll open up and maybe everything will be okay. Maybe the economy will get back on track because then, you know, they can they can give that credit to Biden for bringing us back on track. Maybe. Maybe maybe that's maybe that's what's going to happen. Uh, I, I hope that that is what happens for the betterment of our people as a whole, uh, betterment of human humanity. Um, oh, by the way, in Italy. Yeah, in Italy. Shit, what's the number? Is it 50,000? I think it's 50,000 restaurants or 50. Damn, I can't remember what it was. Anyways, um, in Italy, look it up. It's either 50 or 50,000 or I can't remember the name. Or 5,000. Maybe it's 5,000. Anyways, restaurants decided they were all going to open up at one time. And Italy immediately wiped, off, wiped out all of the, of the uh, mask wearing and everything. Because they couldn't fight against the people. Look it up. I can't, I can't remember the, the, the number. It's either 5,000 or 500, something with a five. Okay? So, um, we don't have to continue down this road. And if you look, if you, if you keep track of the CDC, you'll see they keep changing their minds. They keep changing their minds. One minute, everything's okay. The next minute, everything's not okay. Then one minute, you need the vaccination. Then the next minute, they say, well, even if you get the vaccination, you still have to wear the mask. And then the next minute, they say, well, the vaccination doesn't keep you from the virus. Then the next minute, they say, oh, well, our tests, these PCR tests were given a, a bunch of false positives. Again, you've got to compare this as if you were in a relationship. Would you allow somebody to just lie to you like this? If you were in a relationship, you were sleeping with this person. Every time you turn around, you can't believe a word that comes out their mouth. It's always some more shit. You got to start making some decisions for yourself. We're going to have to figure out how to come together. And it's just such a shame. Well, I, you know, I really hope they just really divided the shit out of this country with this Biden Trump shit. And I kept telling y'all, don't let that be the, the thing. Don't, don't let them divide us on this situation. And you guys just didn't, you didn't listen. So anyways, I hope that, um, I, I really hope that we can come together very, very quickly because we're going to need to come together Everybody buys up everything. Well, a lot of America's already bought up already, but if they buy up anymore, we won't own our own land. And if you really think that white people have been a problem, there are some other people on this planet that are much more of a problem that you don't want to deal with. There are some other people. You don't want that static. You do not want that static. Okay? So anyways, have a good day. Uh, and I'm going to get off this thing. And we'll see how they allow it to post. If it posts and it's all blurry and weird and all that other shit, then I'll just post this other video uh, that I recorded on my other phone. So we'll see. But I got them both, so... <laughs>